Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Here we are with another weekly roundup of showbiz news, chuckles from the internet, and of course our life lesson. But let's say hello to the man who will baste your brains in loveliness. It's Lee. Not just brains I like to baste. Oh, yeah. Just leave it there. Yeah. I'm back with some exciting showbiz news, including a story about my favourite ever Australian. Ooh. And I've had my surgical probe deep inside the internet for some wonderful or questionable things that you may have missed, including an update about the sexuality of ghosts. Mm -hmm. And if you want to keep up to date with things that we see and we say, ooh, let's share that cheeky number, then go on, give us a follow. We are at The Could TV on all of your social media sites. Don't forget our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us as a podcast, just have a quick search for Chewing the Cud. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked like on one of our social media platforms, then your name could be sliding along the screen right now. Mike, did you tell the producer that you'd let me win last week? I said sometimes I let you win. You mean when actually lose because you don't get it? Well, sort of. Oh, whatever, right, let's play. Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today, as he's waiting in for a plumber. He said he's found a blockage in his internal piping and needs someone with a sturdy tool and good suction to help him release it. So let's hope that doesn't leave him with a drippy tap. And while he's doing that, let's play a game of mixology. So are these cocktails or are they not? So shall we get the first one up? Please. Ooh. Crouching Tiger. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. No, just Crouching Tiger. Is that the film, though? Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is, yeah. OK. I uh, <laughs> just wanted to clear that up. Um, I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, say, yeah. Just, yeah. Just going to say, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Because there's a non-alcoholic version as well called the Squatting Kitty. Oh. I was going to say Squatting Pussy. But I, I decided against it. I think it is a cocktail. Oh, okay. Shall we see? I'm saying no. You're saying no. Did I say yes? I don't know what I said. You said yes, so... You, so, yeah. Is I, that, we pick one. Yeah. Can I say yes? I'm going to say yes. You're going to say yes. Okay. Yeah. Should we have a look before he changes his mind? Yeah. It is oh. indeed. Lychee liqueur. Ooh. And boo... Boo? Blue agave? Argave? Silver liqueur. Argave is like a plant type thing, isn't it? Or, or no, it's Argave, like sugary, I don't know. <laughs> Which is also plant sugar. Is it? Yeah, it plant. is. It's yeah. a stick. A bamboo. It's a stick. A stick. It's not. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's have another one. <laughs> grandma's gusset. Have you had a grandma's gusset? I haven't had one, but I've got one on now. Oof! <laughs> Not surprised at all. <laughs> um, what would that be if it was a real thing? If it was a real thing, I think it'd contain Advoca. Ooh, Horlicks. It's kind of a grandma -y thing, isn't it? <laughs> Tend not to find that in many bars. No, but you know, if it's. Ooh, called... could I have a vodka and Horlicks? <laughs> but if it's, you know, if it's aimed at the OAP, you know, if it's aimed at the grandmas, then, you know, they would like something that they Might know. Not be aimed at grandmas. This is why my bar failed, because I wasn't going for the right <laughs> demographic. Going for the of special, yeah. Yeah. Let's, I'm going to say no. Uh, I think a, a grandma's gusset is a thing. Let's have a look. Fake! Oh. Could be, though. Yeah. I could definitely see it containing Africa. Is that a grandma -y thing? No, it's, it's just slightly yellowy and, and gloopy. What are you trying to say? It's like puss. <laughs> and, no, and, and famously, Grandma's gussets are full of puss. Are they really? Yes. <laughs> Let, <laughs> let's pull up another one, shall we? <laughs> Award eight. Oh. So that's like the eighth time you've gone through for a ward at the bar. So I have a ward one, a ward two, a ward three. Not like a hospital ward. Well, I, I would work too. 
But you'd get less alcohol served in, in hospitals. Unless Ward 8 is like a famous ward in a hospital somewhere where the drink... Oh, ward, 8, ward 8 are it's like normally the morgue. I don't know. Hmm. I'd Google it, but so I'd, if I'd, it was, I'd find out if it was a cocktail or not. Then it would be formaldehyde. Oh. Keep me young inside. Mm, with Prosecco. Ooh. Ooh, like Marriott shot. talking. Now no, uh, no, I'm up there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm just going to say yes. I don't think it is. Let's have a look. Wow. Oh. Whiskey, lemon juice, orange juice, grenadine, two speared cherries. Oh. I wonder why it's called a Ward 8. No idea. Can we find that out, please? For another time? Possibly? No. No. <laughs> <sighs> is it my turn? It is your turn. Is yeah. it my turn? Yeah. yeah. Okie dokie. Behind the Iron Curtain. Oh. Vodka. Mm -hmm. Repression. Yeah. Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> Smidge of homophobia. Which has got to be a good dash. Loads of homophobia. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Yeah. Say I no. think it's one of those drinks where you buy it and it comes in, like, you buy a jug of it and it comes out with lots of shot glasses for everybody. Oh, OK. Yeah. I'm going to say yes. Well, let's have a look. Let's see who is, who is correct. Oh. I was right. <laughs> Ooh. So, hello. Just take it out, wipe it down, and you'll be fine. That's it, okay. okay. Oh, lovely. Thank you for that. Okay, bye. So, Ward 8 is named after a place in Boston. Oh. Oh, so oh they have wards, don't they? Yeah, they do. Not in just in the hospital, but in... No, no, as in little areas. Areas. Yeah. Okay, that's, that satisfied my curiosity. There we go. Shall we pull one up? <laughs> <laughs> You insist. Another slide. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Set the new year on fire. Oh, I fire! Fire! <laughs> <laughs> you right there, love? I am. Fine. <laughs> I've, got, I've got that Alicia Keys song in my head now. This girl is on fire! Okay. Anyway, so do we think it's real or not? I'm, I'm just concerned now. Um, set the new year on fire. You don't really want to do that, though, do you? <laughs> just <laughs> silence. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Um, I imagine, right, it's it, like you've said like before that it's like a massive drink with a little shot. I think it's like one of those fishbowl drinks okay. that they set on fire, a flame. Uh -huh. A flame. A flame. <laughs> a flame. And then when the flame burns down, then... It, do you drink it? And you've got no alcohol left in it. Yeah. I, I, I think it's a thing. Yeah. Let, I think it's a thing. Let's have a look. It is a thing. <gasps> oh. Because I got a bit excited then. Um, <laughs> lime juice, syrup, mint leaves, single scot much, Campari, garnish, flaming lime shell. Flaming! Single single it's what? on fire. <laughs> single what? <laughs> flaming lime shell. No, oh, single malt scotch. Single, did I not say that? What did I say? You said say, oh, scotch. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> I was too excited about the flaming shell. <laughs> okay. To get rushed through it. Yeah, you're rushing through it so you didn't see the flaming fruit. Y yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Sh shall we pull another one up? This is a shish show vein. Not again. Shish show vein. <laughs> <laughs> Shishovane. 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 Um, sounds like a drag queen name, that. Yeah. Shishovane. Shishovane. Yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a I don't know. <laughs> um, I think it sounds like the kind of cocktail that would be very orange, like very fruity, but with a bounty in it. With a bounty in with it? With a bounty in it, just for that oh. sugar disappointment. I'm going to say it's more like a gravy with a sausage, just poking out the top. 
<laughs> it's like, ooh, barkeep, I'll have a pint of mild and a jug of gravy. <laughs> and don't spare the sausages. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't think, think it is. is. No, okay. I think it might be. So shall we have a look? <laughs> it, is. it is! So this is bourbon, a drum, tonic, ginger, and shisho. Which a is a, what grass, a grassy, citrusy herb. Oh. Okay, no sausages. No sausages. Can't win them all. Or gravy. Or gravy. Shall we get the final score? Yeah, then? let's see. So it's four to Lee and three to me. I win again. I have indeed. Well 2021, done. my year. Ooh. Anyway, still to come, we are bringing you the next of our epic life lessons. And just after the break is Lee and the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we talk to the man who really can't believe it's not butter. It's Lee in the showbiz news. I can't believe it though. I really can't believe it's not butter. Yeah, it, it's not butter though, Lee. It's Crisco. I know, but I can't believe it. it tastes like butter. Yeah. Looks like butter. Feels like butter. Anyway, let's do some showbiz news. You know who my favourite Australian is, don't you? Danny Minogue. No, she's my second. Rolf Harris. No. <laughs> no. Oh, although I like him to tie me down. Um, Dame Edna. Dame Edna. No, I'm going... Uh, Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. No. Lassie. It's Kylie Minigu. Oh, Kylie. Right. I'll get there eventually. So, cast your minds back to the Olympics of 2000. Ooh. That was 21 years ago. Yeah, how old were you then? I'm 21 years younger than I am now. So... I was 18. 18. Um, do you remember she brought the, I don't know if she opened the show, the, the show? The, the Olympics, or she closed the Olympics. But it was like this massive camp, homosexual, she was riding a giant prawn and all sorts of no, she she was driving <laughs> a, a shrimp. Yeah, <laughs> they call it a prawn, don't they? No, they call it a shrimp. Do they? Yeah, they go chuck another prawn. No, shrimp. No, shrimp yeah, on the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so after <laughs> after after that, um, a statue was created of Kylie Minogue in uh -huh. the in the sort of like showgirl costume that she wore, and it was put on a massive pole in the. Former Olympic Stadium, stop it. Um, and so it's 21 years since she's, she's been stuck on that pole for 21 years. Birds have been landing on her, pooping on her, <laughs> the hot sun just peeling away her exterior. Beating down on her. Now, this is a picture of the, the new one. Okay. So she has been, so they took her down. And the artist who actually made her has given her like a makeover. So this is the artist. <laughs> How would we feel about that artist? Do we, do we you know? Uh, it looks comfortable. He's, he's called Daz, and um, he originally made it. So then he, so he's took it down, and he's saying that technology has improved since then, mm -hmm. so that he can recreate it even more realistically. Now, the problem I have is statues tend to be quite big. Yeah. Kali Minogue is renowned for being very small. Yeah. Can you actually see it when it's on top of its plinth? Well, yeah, you saw the picture then. Yeah, as in, but with the naked eye. Well, I would imagine so, because it's a giant plinth. It's a giant pole in the middle of the park. Yeah, it's a giant pole in the middle of the park with a <laughs> tiny purse at the top. Well, I, I can't answer that question. Come here with your half-baked stories. I can't, <laughs> <laughs> I, can't I mean, it's bright bloody pink, so you're going to be, you're going to see something. <laughs> like, what's that pink blob up there? <sighs> Don't, don't refer know. to that. So yeah, so so he's he's taken it down. He's redone it. He's called Dan Burgess. Mm -hmm. I think he's family. Cause, probably because yeah. Um, now originally, I, see, I did. I thought it was probably it like got a bit old, bit a bit dusty. It, to be fair, it does look like her. You know, yeah. It's not one of those like dodgy waxworks from like that dodgy waxwork place in Great Yarmouth that they, <laughs> nothing looks like who they're supposed to be. Um, it, was, it was new. I'm just looking at my notes. It was new. It was commissioned, a brand new one, as part of an insurance claim. 
Because the the other one was stolen. Oh. By whom? Me. So you flew to Australia and stole a, stole a, the, the statue of Carrie Minogue. Got Danny to do it for me. I bet Danny's sticking pins in it. She, I gave her a knack. She hacked into the bottom of it. <laughs> boof, straight into a zippy bag, straight over to my house. Yeah. Bit more Australian news. Now, Kylie is more? my favourite Australian. Uh -huh. The Hemsworths are your yes. favourite Australians. They're, they're not my favourite Australians. They're just the, the ones I'd like, like to most see naked. Oh, OK. How do we feel about Chris Hemsworth? He's the first one. He's the first one. There's, a, there's an order. Well, he, he is your future ex-husband. He is my future Yeah, husband. it has Thank to be said. Yeah. And yeah. He, he has been posting stuff on social media mm -hmm. uh, about his... He, he's, he's doing a new fitness thing called... Um, Willy Aerobics. <laughs> yeah, it's called Mike Benny and Row. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not so, very fit, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to think of really, really offensive. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. So we have a picture of um, Chris Hemsworth Ooh. pushing a tyre. It's not an actual tyre. It's like a thing that is made to look like a tyre. Yeah, and it's weighted I think and stuff. It's, I don't think that's heavy. I think inside that is like a child's paddling pool. That's, that's fine. That's I'm okay fine. with that. I'm not looking at that. Do you not think he looks a bit odd? It's like body looks a bit plasticky, action manny. It'd be sweaty. Well, yeah. It's a bit, a bit bulgy. That's why I like, I like that. You like that? I like it. So yeah. So he's. So he. This is his new thing. So you can go on social media. and You can do his workouts and stuff. Or you can just jump off to the pictures. Whatever you feel More like you want to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a picture of him here. Um, he's done a workout. Mm -hmm. He's reflecting in the boxing ring. Um, Post coital glow, I believe. Yeah. That is. Thinking about your ring, quite possibly. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's something that you can sign up for, and you get. Home training, healthy, wholesome recipes, what to put in your cupboards. I've got to pay for it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But he also does meditations. Okay. And sleep visualisations. Oh, I can do that myself. We've got a final shot of him on the beach. Okay. Just... He's wearing significantly more clothes than the first shot, though. Well, yeah. Because it's the day, isn't it? And it's, it's, you know, it's not always hot in Australia. I know it's not. Sometimes it's cold. But still, he shouldn't be allowed to wear clothing. No. Well, you know, if, if, you, if, you are, if you are, you know, it's a new year and people like to, you know, be healthy in the new year. Some people like to Some be people healthy. like to be healthy in the new year. Yeah. So you could technically sign up for it and do all the workouts and stuff and end up looking like Chris Hemsworth. Crims Hemsworth. Crims that's, Hemsworth. His, that's the brother that they don't talk about. That's that's the, yeah. that's the ugly one here. <laughs> he's in the. He's gone dead. Yeah. So, oh, you could just sit and look at the pictures. Uh, Get a really strong forearm. <laughs> <laughs> Swap hands. Yeah. Because um, we were speaking about before the show about gym memberships. Yeah, we were. Yeah, because because I've I've paused mine again. Um, it's been active for four pounds worth this year. So yeah, and then last year it was one and a half months. If Crims, Crims, Crims Hemsworth, if Crims Hemsworth the idea was in there, Crims. oh, if Chris Hemsworth was in there, that would be more of an incentive, wouldn't it? Not to go in, just wait no. for him on the way out. Okay. It's hard right. to kidnap someone inside a, inside a building. There are many Hemsworths though, aren't there? There's Chris, uh -huh. Liam, yeah. Brian, mm -hmm. Crims. Crims. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Yeah, right. Hugh, Jew, Barney McGrew, <laughs> Dibble and Grub. <laughs> the Masked Singer news. Oh, no. Did you not enjoy The Masked Singer? No. <laughs> There's a lot of kids in that. Masked Singer. I really didn't. Did you not? No. So it was, I predicted that this would be massive in, mm -hmm. a, in a show many times long ago. You did, you I did, did predict that it was going I to be massive. I did, um, and it was massive over here. So last mm -hmm. year it was won by um, Nicola from Girls Aloud. Mm -hmm. We've got a picture of her winning it. She was Queen Bee. Okay. So you didn't watch any of it, did you? And no, I couldn't stand I watched the first episode and got, no, oh, I can't watch this. So last year they had people like Patsy Palmer. Patsy mm -hmm. Palmer from EastEnders. They had Jason... <laughs> they had Jason Manford on it, Catherine Jenkins, la, 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 singing lady, um, and Jake Shears from, <laughs> from the Scissor Sisters. 
Scissor Sisters. Um, so it's coming back again okay. this year. Stop laughing. This is very serious showbiz news. So they are filming it, but with kind of COVID. Uh -huh. So I would imagine that you're throwing a massive mask on their head anyway. So, there's, you know. They're being COVID secure that way, yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be like a massive audience no. there. Uh, but they have released pictures of some new characters. <gasps> oh. So the first one we have got, this is going to be Bush Baby. That's don't, cute. Don't get it wet. Expose it to sunlight or feed it after, feed it after midnight. midnight. It'll be fine. So yeah, I think that's quite cute. Yeah. So we've got Bush Baby. Then we've got the Blob. Okay. But it was an insult at first. But now it's the name of, of the new character. Now, technique, so it's got four eyes mm -hmm. and a mouth. It's dripping something from its... Oozing. Yeah, oozing from its nether regions. Probably and then finally, the sausage. <laughs> the sausage. It's just called the sausage. <laughs> what is going on on its head? <laughs> what is that a shiny reflection? Or <laughs> as it got really excited and... <laughs> and I hope it's mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's coming back soon, this year at some point. And that's the end of the showbiz news. News. I'm going to be a sausage. Um, thank you, Lee. Can't wait for that to come back on my TV screen. Honestly, really can't. But coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. Don't panic. He's been on more than just OnlyFans. And next, it's Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to talk to the man who likes to drink on bongo and bongo. He drinks it in the Congo. It's Mike in the bus. Do you know the rest of that song? No. Something about the giraffe and the elephant took it up the butt. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's that, not. It's always it? used to sing at school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Anyway, oh, we'll move away from Lee's on bongo fetish. I've been snooping around the internet this week. I'm a bit of a snoop. Um, I've managed to find some some interesting little bits. Oh, nuggets. No, not nuggets. Just no bits. nuggets, just bits. Okay. Um, now the first one is about some walls that you can see in England. Walls. Walls. This sounds thrilling. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> and it's about wavy walls. Oh. Okay. And now, a wavy wall have been, have been all over the country, okay, um, because they use fewer bricks than straight walls. Okay. Okay. And minds are being blown by this. <laughs> I know. I'm, I've, I've got an excited semi just waiting for this to happen. <laughs> Shall we pull it up then? Oh, go on. The picture. <laughs> so if you could look, it's a wavy wall. Okay. Okay, and it only uses one course of bricks, so you don't have to have multiple set up there, so it's actually cheaper to have. Right, okay. Okay, so it means that you can have fun walls that are cheaper. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, have, I have yet to see a wavy wall. Hmm? I've not seen a wavy wall. You've not seen a wavy wall? No. Oh, there's quite a few all over the place. Uh, are you sure, or yeah. are you, do you need your eyes testing? No, I, I'm pretty sure, because you, you can, basically, if you need to go for a pee, it's like a cubicle. <sighs> Is it uh, just nature. somewhere else that you can get a special kiss down below? Special kiss down below where? In your pee pee. In my pee pee? Yeah. Oh, Nobody can pee -pee. see you when someone's kissing your pee pee. No, I don't know what you mean. No, are you no. You invented that wall. <laughs> Are you saying I have invented a wall that uses less bricks pure and simply because it's better for, for shall we say, outside fun times? Yeah. Would I really do that? Yeah, and I'm, I'm, and I'm pretty sure there's probably a gate on it so that you can, <laughs> <laughs> you can vet people. <laughs> or like a turnstile. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and a little lady. Actually, number time. four, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what it is. Uh huh. Okay. Well, no, I have not invented okay. it. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting little thing. Yes. 
Is that what they say after they finished? Well, that was an interesting little thing. <laughs> Complimentary knee pads for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if, if the walls have blown your mind. Whoa! <laughs> um, when was the last time you got on a plane? Ooh. Does a Zeppelin count? It does, yeah. It does? Yeah. 1843. 1843, before mm. the invention of a Zeppelin. Well done. Before the invention of a yeah. yeah. <laughs> flight. <laughs> you found something before it was invented. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> so, when you, when you fly places, do you, do you fly first class, business class, economy, steerage? Honey, honey. Economy. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, the only <laughs> time I've ever flown first class was, was by accident. <laughs> Did you just sit on someone's lap? <laughs> yeah. And I just played dead and they couldn't move me, so I just stayed there. <laughs> anyway, excuse me, sir, this oh, is an economy. I was like that. I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. That was that. Well, the good news is you can now, someone's designed lay flat beds for people in economy. Lay flat beds? Beds? Lay flat beds. Lady flaps beds? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually lie down in the economy to sleep. Okay. Okay. And the way that they've done this is to remove the overhead luggage bins. Oh. So they're oh. actually double deckers. They so, what? So you actually, you're lower down in the seat. Yeah. So you lie down on that seat. Yeah. And then above you is somebody else lying down. Oh, I don't like that idea. It's like, no. Bunk like beds, bunk on, beds a plane. on a plane. That's a horror film there. Bunk beds on a plane. Um, <laughs> well, it can't be worse than snakes on a plane, can it? Yeah, I don't like that idea. You know, no. I don't think you would. Can, can, uh, is there a picture of what the, uh, the other bunk looks like? It looks exactly the same. But higher up. But higher up. <laughs> <laughs> is, <laughs> do you get... <laughs> well, here. I don't know if it's like... If all, well, they've just put a bed in and then they've taken the door off the overhead cabin thing and you just keep in that. <laughs> no, it's the same. They're, they're taking that okay. away. You get a window on both? No, you don't get a window on both. Oh. Because your luggage doesn't get a window. <laughs> you go in, look out your duty freeze air going, oh, hello. Oh, oh, well, it would oh, be nice, that. though, wouldn't it? It'd be nice to have a window. But not have to have a window. Nice. Yes. Well, I, <laughs> I would have to have the bottom bunk then because I would like to look out the window. Yeah, the top bunk's probably cheaper. Yeah, but, 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 all, to sit in bed all the time? Yeah, so it's set like that. Okay, but if you're on the top bunk, do your legs not just hang down in front of the other person's face? Yeah, pretty much. No, I don't like it. <laughs> Until you've got your legs up. I don't, I, well, I mean, to be fair, if you've ever been on a flight and you've had some irritating child behind you going, ooh, 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 mm -hmm. kicking the back of your thing, then, yeah, I, I kind of see that... You can still have someone behind you kicking the back of your chair. Yeah... I don't think you'll get them cushions. No. I think that's just a show. <laughs> I don't think you'll get the grey cushions. I think no, it's a Nothing. Oh, okay. So I'm which hose down. Which, <laughs> which airline is providing these? No airlines have taken oh, this design. Okay. <laughs> because people like the overhead bins. Oh. Yeah. But this is after the EasyJet have announced that they're going to start charging you for using the overhead luggage. Oh, and for oxygen. And oxygen. for just existing. And, yeah. <laughs> and okay. if you want to be looked at. By the cabin crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm not convinced at that. Not convinced. No, it looks quite spacious and comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a picture. It looks great. Yeah. Um, and the next story is one that you you'll quite enjoy because I think you might be in, interested in doing this. Okay, this is a lady in London who's been raising money um, for a local charity by cycling around naked. What's with the face? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with a naked lady? Why? Why does everything have to be naked? Well, not everything has to be naked. So that's what they just do. They just do it all the time, don't they? Oh, well, I'll raise money for. Yeah. Chat, let's get me. Not so there. she said she was gonna. She was gonna um, do something to raise money. <laughs> and her housemate jokingly said, "Oh, cycle around naked." And she went, "Ooh, that's a good idea." And so I did. She did. Did she do it in the summer? Uh, yeah, she's done it in late summer, and and winter as well. Oh, so in she's winter. Been doing it recently. Ooh. And last year. Well, it's... long distances are just kind of like just around the block. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> just just at shops and back, really. Oh, she she cycled r around London. Okay. Well, good, you know, good for her. Good for her raising lots of money for well. I hope she's got courses. you know a, a nice cushiony seat to sit on. Yes, I'm sure she has. Chafing. Yeah. It's not funny. 
Um, and if something makes you think, now that's barely legal, but very funny, why don't you share it with us? Just give us a cheeky tag or a mention using the Could TV on all of your social media platforms. Our cavernous inbox is so empty, there's an echo. echo, echo, echo. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting the echo to come back then. That was quite impressive. Wow. Do you want to try? Okay. Echo, 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 echo. echo, echo. <gasps> that it. Oh, oh yeah. Um, and this is the story of the week time. Yay. Okay. Now, ghosts. Ooh. Now you need to be brave. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's been discovered that the majority of gays are possessed by ghosts. <gasps> That's what it's been. Yep. Yeah. So you just thought it was just you were getting random, getting the willy shoved up you, but apparently it was a ghost. <laughs> well, one, that's very presumptuous of you to assume <laughs> that that's what I do. Um, but it's a ghost doing it, it's not you doing it. See, I, always, I thought it, ex, that's ectoplasm, that's what it's been all this time. Yeah. The oh, amount of times I've been to the doctors. Oh, just got a haunted Ma arse. <laughs> No, it's not just your bum. Oh, it's not just the bottoms that are it's haunted. Your whole life. Oh, is the haunted. whole of me yeah. is haunted. Yeah, your life is haunted. Yes. Oh, how do I get rid of it? Huh? The, well, the study doesn't say how to get rid oh, of it. Oh, again! Just don't say something. Just say, oh. The study doesn't. So, the, the, the debunked scientists that have come out with this study. Scientists? Yeah, scientists. <laughs> <laughs> right? That have come out with this study to say all these people are possessed by ghosts. I haven't said how to get rid of it. You just said you are. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I do quite like the idea of having Casper inside me. Yeah. Is it, well, he is a friendly ghost. He is a friendly ghost. Very friendly. Quite well endowed. Really? Surprisingly under that. a 12-year-old boy. I'm very tight. Oh, dear. Oh, hang on a second. The phone's going. Hello? Oh, OK. So Casper died when he was 12. He's no longer 12. That's OK, then. That's good. He's a fully grown man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that's that's been cleared. I, I, I'm glad that's been cleared up as well because the last thing I'd want is to, for you to get into trouble. No, yeah. no, I want a fully fully mature ghost. Yes, pounding me. Um, <laughs> are we and, moving on? <laughs> no, that's all we have for the buzz this week. Oh, well, well, thanks for that, Mike. For 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 just insinuating that I'm a deviant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't insinuate it. <laughs> Meant it. <laughs> Stay tuned as after this comes our life lesson. Welcome back. Now we have that part of the show that you've been waiting for. It's this week's. Life Lessons. We're going to get our craft on today. Oh. We're going to get our Kirsty Allsop on. I don't think mine fits me anymore. Oh. I'm sure it would does if you pull it, stretch it. Okay. So um, we're going to do something called marbling. Ooh. Kind of. Oh. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Okay. Not tried it. If not Just watched it on telly. Not, no, not <laughs> <laughs> Just watched it for a few seconds on telly and thought, oh, we'll do that. We'll so in front of you, you'll have a, you'll have a tray. I do. A I silver a tray. tray. Um, and. In a, in a moment, we will... <laughs> what are you doing? I'm stroking my silver tray. You're stroking your silver tray, okay. Um, we're going to be filling that with hot water. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, you, I have provided you with a little tub. You have? Would you like to, would you like to open your little tub? Are the snacks? Is it snacks? No. No. So, yeah. Ooh. No, so, you, apparently, um, you can do marbling using nail varnishes. Oh. Well, not harsh. Um, instead of buying expensive... Marbling ink. Okay. So you have a variety of uh, of um, colours. So these are all from ooh, these are all from my personal collection. I can believe it. Got silver, bit of pink. I'm going to call that a I'm going to call that a dusky dusky rose. Oh. Red glitter, pink glitter. <laughs> How come we got more than that? How many have you got? I've got four. Ah, oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, it was just the look of the drawer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, it, then you will also have some PRPR. -pia. I have some paper. Some yes. PRPR, yeah. I have cut the paper to fit the... Um, the tray. Tray. Oh, you have um, indeed. Yeah. And then you've also got a peg. 
beep, 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 Not for your nose. No. So once we have placed the paper in the tray uh -huh. with the hot water in the thing, we will use the peg to get it out. Get it out. Okay. Like lift it out. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. That well done. Yeah. Well done. Well done, you. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get some hot water and put it okay. in my tray. Okay. So you must be very careful at home with the hot waters. So I'm just gonna pour it in. Ooh, uh, kind of, sort of like halfway up the. I've done, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide it over. Okay. To you. How much do I need to put in? Kind of halfway up the tray. Now, which halfway? Because my, my desk is on a slight wonk, I believe the phrase is. Well, you just, uh, you've got to have enough sort of space at the top to pop your piece of paper in and okay. then take it out without scalding your fingers on the hot water. Exfoliate your face, clear the airwaves. Okay. So now you can choose the colours that you want to use. Okay. Now, when Kirsty Allplop did it, uh -huh. she only used three. Okay. So, you know, we'll use these three. So, all you do is open your nail varnish and pour some little blobs onto the water. Ooh, you can do like a little patterny thing. Oh no, I'll pour it, do I? Oh, okay. Yeah, pour it in, in a, in a, in a pattern of, of your choice. Ooh, that's strong. I'm going for a dusky pink. A misty buff. Oh, <coughs> I would also say this is very, the smell coming off it is very strong. So please be careful. Do this outside. Yeah. In a well ventilated area. Yeah. Not in a closed studio. Otherwise you're gonna get high off. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought she looked like she was off her tits. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Nigel you were watching? No, it was Kirsty Allplop. I'm gonna, I want a little sp <coughs> It really gets to the back of your throat. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, my oh, my turn. The glitter ones tend to globulize. Globulize? Globulize. Oh, okay. Rather than, um, sort of spread air. <laughs> spread air. So I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go for a matte one. This is, this is from my range you get in all shops. This one's called Metal Mickey. When you are happy with the- Oh, I'm very happy with the with the smells. You are. When, you, when you're happy with the arrangement, uh -huh. um, you would take one of your pieces of paper. I would say thick paper rather than thin paper. Okay. And then you gently place it Mine's resin, risen. Place it onto the water. Now, uh, if yours is risen like mine, very gently, you know, press it down. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Burning! Now, so you don't burn your fingers, <laughs> get your peg. And now then, he tells me. And then... <laughs> So you don't burn yourself using the thing that I've said to, that I've not told you to use yet. Right, get my peg. Yeah, I'm not sure whether this has been successful. What does yours look like? Um, <gasps> beautiful! <laughs> what the... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Mine looks like afterbirth. <laughs> On a piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we need to <laughs> we need to try that again. We need to do that again. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna put the afterbirth there. Okay. Make pate with that later. So yeah. So you know, sh shall we shall we try a different shape? Let's try a different shape. Which yes. one? So we have a variety. So we've got square. We've got we've got um we've got a dog bone. Okay. What's this one here? That's a smiley mouth. Oh, it's a mouth. Yeah. Lips. Oh. 
Lovely. What, what do you want to go for? I'm going to go for the lips. You're going to go for the lips. I'm going to go, I'm for, gonna, the I'm gonna go for the. I'm going to go for my dog bone or the rocket. Woo! Okay. So um, yeah. So same process again. Same process again. It's going to work stunningly. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it smells like a, dis a gay disco after pop as a clock <laughs> this in here. It smells like hot solvent. Ooh, oh. Well, that looks nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the, the, the glitter. Right. You're getting, you're getting, you look like you're getting quite into it. Yeah, I am. I used to do this at school. <laughs> but we actually used marbling ink and stuff. Oh, okay. This was a lot more. And then what did you do with it when she, once you'd made it? We used to you know, wrap our books in it. You'd so, back your books in yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, so other people used, um... Other paper. people used brown paper? Yeah, yeah, we used, um, marble paper. In the homosexual class. <laughs> Oh no, it wasn't a homosexual class, it was... You it was use, oh, that stinks. Right, I'm going to place my dog bone into the... Put my mouth on there as well. Okay, in it goes. Then I think what you would do is, you would leave it to dry. Uh-huh. And then you can, you know, make... Back your books in it. Yeah. You mock me. Chuck it in the bin. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take out my... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look Ooh. at me. Look at me, <coughs> dog bone. Wow. Wow. That's a choice. Let's have a look at your lips. Oh, that, it, that, that, I'm more impressed <laughs> with, with that and the dog bone than I am with just doing it normally. Yeah, I, th I think, so, you know, surprisingly. Uh-huh. That's worked quite well. I think I think that's worked quite well for me, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if, if you at home want to do this yourselves and show us what you've done, please t do yeah, do it, do it, do it. do it. Um tag us in on on Tintranet. Tintranet. On Tintranet and we will we will may well show you. <laughs> what the local numbers for your help and support clinics. <laughs> um so yeah, I'm currently getting a little bit wavy on those. So that brings us to the end of this week's show. We've got just enough time to say you can find us on your social media platforms. Just look for The Could TV, and our website is thecud.tv. And while you're there, have a look at our support section for extra content, including outtakes. Now, like the last quality street in the tin you've found has nothing but wrappers, we have just enough time to bring you our picture of the week, which is a second contribution in two weeks from Mrs. Betty Humper, and she asks... Who would want their washing to smell of bath? Oh, that's a choice. Would you want to smell of bath? I do. All the Intentionally. time. Intentionally. You know, there's a certain satisfaction. Okay, dogs. Oh, anyway, thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye! Bye.